This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. And by Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services. Okay, welcome back everybody. We are going to have a little halftime recap here of the first half's actions. We've got Lake City hosting the Beale City Aggies tonight. And the Aggies uh, took a 7-0 lead on their first drive of the night. And boy, it's been a lot of defense tonight. Actually, Mike, that is the only score that we've had this evening, which uh, I don't think anybody was maybe expecting. You know, with Lake City averaging 42 points a game and Beale City scoring a pretty good share of points uh, in each of their contests, at least three out of the four of their contests anyway. So a uh, little bit of a defensive show tonight. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you know, Nate Wilson was able to get in for Beale City on a nice long uh, run from scrimmage. But other than that, pretty tight-lipped yeah, on both was, sides. That was the first quarter yep. uh, when that yep. happened. That was Beale City's first drive. They've actually had a couple long drives. Uh, Lake City did end up stopping them inside their own 10-yard line as they were trying to put it in for uh, another touchdown. And you know, Lake City's defense came up big, so uh, yeah. it's probably going to wave real important here as the game moves on into the second half. It's a defensive battle, and that'll be interesting, I think, especially for Lake City with the kind of numbers they're putting up because this game has a different feel from what they've experienced so far this year. All right. All right. So uh, that is going to do it for the first half. So we are going to bring you exciting second half action as the teams kind of regroup and get some different strategies going on here for the second half. Uh, we are going to leave you now and have you listen to the, they're going to roll the camera here and you're going to listen to the Lake City Marching Band who is led by Mr. Philip Bossenberger. Now the results. In fourth place, for the Sophomores. Third place went to the Freshmen. In second place, the Senior Class. So congratulations to the winning Junior Class. And that being said, however, after homecoming week, the Sophomores are still leading in the Spirit Point Contest, but not by much. At this time, we'd like to present the homecoming court. Representatives of the ninth grade class for this year's homecoming are Olivia Bellows and Bradley Seeger. Olivia is the daughter of Todd and Chip Bellows. Olivia enjoys playing basketball and uh, watching the Packers beat the Lions. One day she hopes to travel the world. Brad is the son of Brad Seeger and Daniel Hoblet. Brad would like to spend his free time playing basketball and hanging out with friends. He would like to one day play for the Detroit Pistons. The representative sophomore class are Emma Elmquist and Jack Petty. Emma is the daughter of Jen and Grant Alpers. Emma says she enjoys running and spending time with friends and family. She hopes to one day attend the University of Michigan Dental School to become an orthodontist. Jack is the son of Todd and Emily Pedler. Jack enjoys playing football, basketball, and baseball, and hanging out with his friends. After high school, he plans to attend Michigan State University to pursue a degree in engineering. The representative the junior class are Mario McClure and Kyle Bersinio. Mari is the daughter of Heather and Doug McClure. Mari enjoys pole vaulting, skiing, and golf, and plans to one day run a marathon and travel overseas. Kai is the son of Tim and Carrie Bersinio. Kyle spends his free time playing chess and basketball, and has a goal of being a positive influence on the entire world. And now, for our 2017 homecoming pick, King and Queen candidates. First off, we have Chloe Ann Trumpeter and the birthday boy, Troy Pablo. <laughs> Chloe is the daughter of Jennifer Gillis and Simon Trumpeter. Chloe enjoys photography and acting. She plans to study photojournalism and 
Pat Gee and learn about the places she travels to. Troy is the son of Doreen and Bill Baldwin. Troy enjoys playing sports and helping others. He hopes to one day be a high, high math or science teacher. Our next two team candidates are Olivia Elam and Evan Eisen. Olivia is the daughter of Sheldon Joseph Elam. Olivia enjoys making memories by adventuring with her friends and FaceTiming her cousin, best friend, Libby, who lives in Texas. Olivia wants to travel, travel, travel. Evan is the son of Terry and Don Eisen. He enjoys acting and jamming in jazz band. His future pet plans include becoming a missionary. And our last two and three candidates, Madison Wetzel and Jimmy Young. Maddie is the daughter of Yvonne Tracy Owens and Caitlin Wetzel. Being at Lake Sasaki, Michigan, and spending quality time with friends and family, Maddie plans to become a nurse and live a happy and successful life. Jimmy is the son of Rick and Ann Young. Jimmy enjoys spending time with friends on and off the field. He also enjoys a big bowl of fruit weeks every morning. Jimmy plans to become a biomedical engineer and care for and support his family. Where are your candidates? And now I'd like to present our last year's homecoming team queen, Nina Iverson and Levi Black. <laughs> Nina is the daughter of Tim Iverson and George Brown. Levi is the son of Frank and Teresa Black. All right, let's have another round of applause for all our candidates on court. I suppose you guys want to announce the next thing. All right. So for 2017 homecoming, our homecoming king is Jimmy Young. And our homecoming queen for 2017 Maddie Wetzel. Congratulations, King Jimmy and King, King Maddie. And the rest of our homecoming court for the accomplishments here. They all look gorgeous down there. The homecoming festivities for 2017 will conclude with a semi formal dance tomorrow night at the high school gymnasium from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. The student body of Lake City High School would like to say thank you to everyone who contributed to the success of homecoming. Thank you to our student council members, the sheriff's department, fire department, class advisors, parents, staff, and cheerleaders for all their work and support. Thank you to everyone, and thank you all for being here tonight for this event. Congratulations to King Jim Young and King Mary Wetzel, your 2017 homecoming representative. You need to go to the booth and pick up your certificate, and that winner is Brian, and we have an initial A, but it is a Lake City phone number, so Brian A, you are the winner of the three-foot self from Subway, go down and pick up your gift certificate. Thank you. 